Oh no. Where are we? Okay. Placing the TV and removing it from the toy pad blows it up. Explosions can destroy silver Lego objects. Of course, we've already known that from before, but that's okay, giving us a little bit of a reminder. Nothing wrong with that. Apparently, Homer can punch Cacti with his face, which is, um, or I guess not punch him, t technically speaking. Uh, that'd be headbutting them, but that sounds like a pretty painful process, to be quite honest, but okay. There we are. Get all them studs! Fantastic. So, what is happening? Whoa, look at that! There's like a residue behind Homer. Like ghost Homer is behind Homer. And there's like goldfish and black fish. They're all jumping around. Whoa, okay, they just froze everything. Is that supposed to happen? It's time to burp? Is this like a burping kind of thing? Come on, break the ice, Homer! Whoa! What is going on? Weird. Now oh, there's a weird snake creature. I hope I didn't brain my damage. <laughs> I hope I didn't brain my damage. Yep. Um, I think that's probably an indicator that you did brain your damage. Or damage your brain. Can't believe that I said it the same way. Alright, so there's a Ooh, a pretty awesome bunch of studs. And then it looks like up there. There is some other lovely stuff that we can collect, so let's do this thing! Woohoo! We made it up there. Just barely, but we did. No, 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 no. Careful! Now, of course, once you make it up here, there is another way for your friends to get up here, or the other characters that you have coming along with you, or if you're playing co-op, obviously your friend needs to come up in some way as well if you don't have another vehicle. So there you go. And that allows you to do that. Um, I forgot who... There's lots of characters that can interact with the gold objects, right? Homer's not one of them, though. Yeah, we've got uh, Superman, Cyborg... Wait, who was the first one? Bad Cop. Then a whole bunch of different vehicles, including the Tauntavision, actually. The rebuild, the third form of the Tauntavision can interact with that. That's kind of cool. So let us proceed. We are going to go ahead and drive on down here. And let's see... With Marge, ate Guatemalan insanity peppers, then I... Oh. Oh. What happened? Okay, that was kind of spooky. The way that that moment just kind of ends. Can we not drive into that? Okay, that one can be tri- Oh, okay, you can only back into that particular plant. Whoa! Is that an English bus? That looked like, a, like those... Double tier buses from England. I've always wanted to ride on one of those. I think they have them in like other cities as well, though, right? Not just um, uh, well, England's not a city, of course. I meant London, but um, I, I think they have them in other countries as well. Not just it's not just an English thing anymore. I think that's where it originated. Maybe I don't know. I should stop talking because I have no clue about that, and um, therefore I don't want to continue discussing that. But if you guys have like if you live in some city where they do have those. Like, those cool double-tier buses. Let me know. That'd be cool. Because, uh, eventually, if I visit some areas and such, it'd be neat to know which uh, areas have that particular tour bus kind of feature. Whoa! It's a giant butterfly! That has just thrown stuff at us. Okay. Thanks, butterfly. I do appreciate that. I think I'm gonna be leaving now. <laughs> Good point, Homer. Good point. Now, before we operate whatever this thing does, I mean, we obviously know that this is an operating mechanism. I would like to just have a quick ride around to the edge here, just to see what is out here. Okay, so it just kind of goes on. Wait, is this where we came down from? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. So this is where we saw the actual cutscene where he was walking, remember? This was the area that he walked through. Let's see what this is. Uh, that looks... Like... Well, I was gonna say a switch, but then... Oh, it's a TARDIS switch! I don't think we've ever seen one of those! That's something new! That is really cool looking, too. I do like that quite a bit. Let's see. 
Only special vehicles such as the TARDIS can teleport from these spots by using their TARDIS time travel ability. Yeah, it's kind of in the name. The TARDIS travel ability seems that it belongs like only to the TARDIS, which is kind of obvious, but okay. Let's proceed. Uh, so back to the switch here. And let's see what this does. Whoa. Careful. Careful. You gotta decide, Homer. Sunrise or sunset? Whoa, sun crash. Stop doing anything. <laughs> That's a good note, Homer. That is a very, very good note. I, I fully expected him to, to go, go on that one. Is that gonna be a bridge? That's a lot of parts. This is quite an extensive uh, assembly there. But I do believe we've just assembled a bridge. Great, look at that. So now we can get across and see what is hidden on this side. So it looks like there are some blocks that we can probably assemble into something. Whoa! And whoa! Get those studs, nice. Wanted to make sure to back into those. All right, Homer, it's time to go into rage mode. Here we go, Hulk Homer. Boom. Good attack. Good attack. Wait, you can even build while you're this huge? That's kind of cool. What are we building? Are we spelling out Homer? Because that looks like an H. H E. I don't even know what that second letter is. It could be E. Let me shrink back down, because I'm stuck between the two letters there. H-E-L? Help! Okay, there we go. Hey, buddy, get back there with the other rocks. Look at that. Oh, it's not even a rock! Follow the... <gasps> this must be why I'm here. Follow the what? Follow the what? Follow the tortoise. Get moving, you stupid... When I'm kicking you, that means hurry up. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. How do you know that that's the right area? Oh, okay. Well, luckily it was the right area. Oh, you want me to climb that, huh? No problemo. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, problemo. Lots of problemo. Oh, no. Okay. What are those? Are those chili peppers flying down? Explosive chili peppers? That's kind of terrifying. Um, what do we have? Uh, are we supposed to go all the way around or is that not the case? Okay, so you can only go just to the edge of uh, the pyramid here. You can't go all the way around. Okay, so these are chi switches, I believe, right? And uh, you need to have a Legends of Chima character for those to power them up. From what I recall. Uh-oh. I don't want to get hit by that. So I'm just going to take my time here for a moment. Yikes. Careful. So let's push this. Over to here. And then I think if we summon the Homercraft. Up here. Or the Homermobile. We should be able to power this thing up. There we go. Oh, okay, makes sense. So each layer, we need to try to get the um, staircase assembled so we can actually continue. Yikes! Okay, I meant to park it there. I hope I don't get a ticket for that one. All right, let's see. Uh, we got some studs here. Nothing too valuable, though, unfortunately. Would have been kind of awesome if there was, like, a purple stud hidden here. But there isn't. Oh, no, these are the Chima switches. These ones right here are actually the Chima switches. There, you see? Only characters such as Cragger can use Chi up by using their Chi Pala. And we have Eris, Laval, and Cragger, all three of whom have that particular ability in their uh, roster of abilities, I guess. Uh oh, don't get hit by the giant chili pepper. Oh, I see a blue stud up there, so that'll be good to collect. Definitely would like to grab that in a moment. Check if there's anything valuable there. Not too much. Time to do the burp attack. Go! All right. Once again, we need the Homer Mobile. And it is time to go ahead and get on this treadmill. 
on this vehicle treadmill. Wait, wait, careful. Careful. There we go. Okay. I'm sure we're going to need it again, so I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, okay. I see what we need. First of all, we're going to need the Tonto Vision to spawn in over here. And then we need it to implode. Okay. Boom! Come on! Tonto Vision, implode! Thank you. All right, so now we have all the little tiles that we need in order to actually push that rock out of the way. Ooh, that was an awesome amount of studs. Give that a nice push. Then, we need to, of course, go ahead and smash all the glass by using our sonar ability. Sonaring Homer. Not snoring, but so sonaring. Yeah, I just made sonar into a verb, which is not applicable. Uh-oh. Oh, oh cool. maybe I shouldn't be driving cars up staircases. Not really the best idea. Ouch. Ooh, wait. Ah, so you can actually lock up these uh, actual things so that you don't have to deal with the peppers constantly firing up at you. So that's kind of a good idea. Maybe at first you want to do that, like climb all the way up the, um, uh, the pyramid. Do that so that you don't have to worry about it as much. Could be a good idea, you know? And then you can just kind of be more free about exploring things. The itchy and scratchy statues. Oh, no, never mind. You have to do that, actually. And you wouldn't be able to climb the tower, I forgot, because you need to activate all the staircases. There's no way to climb it. Uh, otherwise. Oh, man. I didn't know that there would be anything happening when I'm up here. Whoa! We all do. No more insanity peppers in any chili cook-offs, no matter what. Oh, okay. He's not listening to you anymore. You must find your soulmate. Soulmate? Your kindred spirit. The one with whom you share an unspoken bond. That would be Marge, right? Come back! Whoa! There's a train! It's a little time to get out of the way. Uh no, no, no. Ah! No. That, is that a golf ball? Maybe the desert was just the sand trap. Wherever my soulmate is, it's not here. Aw, sad Homer. Huh? What's that blinking light? The lighthouse keeper! The loneliest man in the world! He'll understand me! Okay. Great. I'm not sure if that's exactly what the coyote was referring to, but... You know, Homer. I guess if that's what you want to do, then that's what we're gonna do. There's Expo. Obviously reminding us of the abilities of the Tonto Vision, which we were somewhat aware of already. Ooh. There we go. Get all that. That's awesome. And what is this? How do you interact with that? I don't think I've ever seen this type of switch. Whatever that is. That just looks kind of interesting. I wonder. Do I need to maybe break this fishing rod to operate that? Hmm. Okay, maybe you need an arrow for that or something like that. Uh, let's see. What have we here? Aha! There's stuff. There's lots and lots of stuff. Smash that up as well. Okay, here we go. Alright, I don't know how I can make it up there. Let's see, maybe we need to grow first to smash through this door. Rage, Homer! Go! Nope, does not work. That was simply embarrassing. But maybe if we smash all this up, then we will assemble something out of all those parts. Nope, does not work either. Okay. So, there's obviously something that we need to do here. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I don't see any silver Lego objects. That's the issue. Oh, okay. There is our object, probably. Within that crate. Let's see what we got. Ooh, what is that? Can we destroy this thing? Nope, we cannot. Okay. 
Let's just push it along, Dan. Sorry, car. 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 Please despawn right now. I'm very sorry to offend you. Car. I can't despawn to Taunta Vision because it's going to implode. So that won't be good. I mean, technically I could. I just don't know how that necessarily helped us. Uh-oh. Careful, Homer. Yeah, we made it! We made it all the way to the tippity top. Is that a silver Lego object, or is that just a regular... Nope, that's just a regular object. So, we can destroy all that glass, which will probably allow us access inside in just a moment here. Let's destroy this. Whoa! Okay, don't just jump on the moving fan like that, Homer. You gotta be careful, broski. All right, here we go. Time to destroy this stuff. There we go. And we have gained access to this. Whoa, okay. There are a lot of hazardous materials around here. It seems like these parts are supposed to assemble into something. Here we go. Let's give that a nice twist. Ah, of course. Just wash them all away. I'm sure that'll be just a-okay. Right? And not a problem at all. Whatsoever. Because why would that be a problem, right? <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with this water. All right. Let's collect some studs. Um, can we smash that as well? All right. So I think now we have all the parts that we need to assemble whatever it is that we need to do here. And in this case, it seems to be a jump pad. So obviously the Homer mobile will need to return and help us with this next bit. Here we go. Right. It's time to do this. Whoa! There we go. Okay, we did it. This <laughs> is just your memory. I can't give you new information. Homer's like, please, just a little bit more. I forgot to take notes. I was eating donuts. I'm so focused on that. And it would just be awesome if I got a little bit more information. No, 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 no! I did not want to jump yet. I did not want to jump yet. Because I did see a portal uh, pad there as well, which looked interesting. What is this? This looks interesting. Only characters such as Aquaman can summon water elements from Atlantis pools by using their Atlantis ability. And he's the only one that has that ability, so... Obviously, Aquaman is going to be a pretty important character. That is our Citizen and Pearl for this level, by the way. So we obviously know where to find him once we come back around for 100% completion. But for now, let's jump up here and carry on. We're almost at the lighthouse at this point. Very, very, very close towards completing that. We're going to go ahead and summon in the Tonto Vision and then remove it. Boom! Okay, summon it back in, because why not? Okay, there's parts of stuff. Am I supposed to build that into something? And remove it from... The yeah, I know. We just did it. Huh. Okay, what are all these? These rods are supposed to probably be put into place, right? Like, that's how we're going to climb this thing, no? There we go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. We have almost gained access to the lighthouse. Any studs here? Nope. How about the other side? We've been doing a lot of stud spending on the Lego Brick Adventure, so I definitely want to try to recover at least some studs. And uh, a quarter of a million studs is pretty awesome. That's going to come in handy in a lot of unlocks and upgrades in the game, so that'll be great. All right, shrink back down and let's make our way in. Here we go! What's happening? Earl is an electronic, automatic, robotic lighthouse! Homer's desperate search for a soulmate has yielded a lighthouse keeping robot! Oh, wow! <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> no, you're not. What about your family? You have Marge and Lisa and Bart and Maggie and Santa's little helper, too. Oh, look at those hearts. The Lego hearts. That's awesome. In your face, space coyote. I, I think that's what he meant. I think that's 
That's kind of what he meant. In your face, Space Coyote is the name of the actual uh, trophy for this level. The Mysterious Voyage of Homer is the name of the level itself. And that certainly was a mysterious voyage indeed. I will definitely agree to that uh, statement. That was a ton of fun. What an awesome, awesome level. Um, so far, out of the three level packs... Oh man, I don't know. Let me think. I still think Portal was my favorite because I really love Portal. Then I think it was the Simpsons one because it was like it had more to offer in my opinion than the Back to the Future one. And then last but certainly not least, I would rank the Back to the Future one. But I would love to hear from you lovely folks. If you've watched all three level packs so far for Wave 1, let me know what was your favorite. I would certainly, certainly love to hear from you lovely folks in the comments section below. Let me know. As always, have an absolutely fanful, fantastic day, and I will indeed catch all you lovely folks next time. Peace out, see you later, alligators. Bye-bye!